The fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got some run plays for you guys today. I'm in the Steelers playbook, and I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is probably the most unstoppable run formation. It's my personal favorite right now. It's the one I'm using the most uh, in my gameplay videos. If you want to watch yesterday's gameplay, I used this run formation against multiple opponents, and they really had no success. It's one of the most explosive. It's one of the hardest to stop formations of the game, and that's a single back wing pair. Uh, if you can see, I mean, we have a three tight end set. Anytime you have this many tight ends on the field it's going to be a little bit difficult uh, to stop but ultimately this formation is so overpowered because of the alignment three tight ends on one side can really mess with your opponent's defensive alignment uh, and I'll show you guys how you can make reads and really make this formation unstoppable now I did touch on uh, the power O in a previous video from the Saints I'm going to expand upon that here because there's a couple of really good pass plays that you can make out of this uh, that the, the Saints playbook doesn't have like the PA counter shot um, that's not something that I'm not sure. I'm not sure what plays I'm going to show uh, now, what plays are going to be my Patreon, uh, but I should have at least one or two pass plays at the end of this video to give you guys a full scheme. But either way, if you guys want to see the full scheme, uh, it'll be on my Patreon or my Join Now community tab. Um, join Now button, obviously, right below, or the ebooks, obviously, all that stuff, link in the description below. Uh, but I'm going to focus on the run plays to start this video. So we have uh, really three main run plays. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put them in my uh, in my audibles. Number one would definitely be uh, the power out. Like I said, that's my favorite. The most uh, commonly used one is going to be the halfback inside zone. You can see we're really attacking both sides of the field with those plays, although those plays can be run to both sides. And then the third play would be the counter weak. This is one that I didn't show in a previous video. It's also one of the better ones. Uh, and I'll also go the counter strong, although that's probably the one I'll use the least. But we'll pick that. We'll put that in the audibles. And then the last play, I, just, I guess I'll just pick the motion plunge because it's there but that's pretty much you know the top three plays are the ones that i mentioned so it's going to let's pick that on the defensive side we're just going to go with uh random three four so we can get a lot of different alignment looks now before getting into this vid as always if you guys want to get your mutt team up make sure to check out my coin sponsor moxp.com uh link in the description below if you discount code money shot you get five percent off your order and you also support this channel when you do that so if you need coins check them out a lot of promos dropping right now it's definitely a good time other than that, as far as the reads go, um, this first defensive look I'm getting right now, I mean, I think the 4-3 defenses, it might rearrange a little bit more. But based off of this three tight end set, a lot of times you have control over your opponent's defensive alignment. It's not letting me motion this guy out right now, although it typically does. It's kind of weird. But either way, the first play, like on a play like this, when I see a stacked box like this, uh, now it's letting me motion. That was weird. You can see um, how basically uh, the entire defensive alignment shifts when I motion this guy out to a receiver look. That's basically what I meant when I say that this defensive alignment control is controlled by the offensive line, which basically they're going to be off-centered, off-kilter pretty much every time unless I make this motion and, re and release them from that. Now they're in a more traditional look. So on something like this, because they're forced to be over to the strong side like that just to kind of counterbalance, uh, and it's up to your, I mean, your opponent would have to change that out, and I'll show that in gameplay later, uh, where my opponent has to try to manually shift it and change this to stop this power O run. It really leaves them empty, leaves them naked on the other side. But like I said, I'll get to that later. But if I have this alignment where they're being forced to this area, the easiest way to counter that is just flip the play with the right stick. Go to the power O flip the play with the right stick and now you're going to see we're running pretty much there's nothing really out here a lot of times that guy can cut off like he did there but that's okay i just didn't make a good read so that play like i said it wasn't stopped necessarily i just didn't make a good read a lot of times uh you have to go inside of the pulling guard which i didn't do so let's just do that again like i said i'm typically trying to just hit this to, to the outside i don't know if this is a, a good running team to run this but I mean, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do with what I can do. But like I said, it's really, it's a, it's a, it's a single read play. You're really just reading 
um, you know, it, when I'm running this play anyway, if the guard, if the guy comes free, the guard a lot of times picks him up and you have to kind of run inside of him. Uh, right there, he just gets pushed inside and you can see we have nothing but space out here. It's a really easy run to rip off five to 10 every time. So like I said, I'm typically, because the formation is shifted, I'm typically just flipping it and going back the other way. Uh, and then if that guy gets through, like I said, a lot of times I'll just have to take it wide. A lot of times I'll have to take it inside the blockers. So that stuff I'll go over in the gameplay a little bit more. Uh, as far as the counter run play, I mean, the halfback inside zone, I'm really just looking for a gap, which I don't really seem to be seeing here. I mean, a lot of people run nickels and dimes and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to switch out over to a nickel and a dime defense. So I switched over to um, some random nickel packages because I think you're going to see this the most online. I know me personally, I run 3-5 through five or big nickel over G the entire game. Nobody's knocking me out of that. I'm typically not going to bulk up unless they're inside the 5. So this is probably more traditionally what you're going to see online. Uh, but as far as the reads go, I mean here, this is I can run a number of things here. I still think the power is the best way to go. I can run this strong side because you have the three tight ends like that over there. Um, and you can see they're just going to clear out that side. If they don't have it spaced out, and you'll see this against an opponent in a minute when I show this against live gameplay, if they don't have it spread out, um, you're going to have success running to the strong side, which I typically wouldn't do. So here's a play. I mean, this is definitely a look for the power. I feel like I've run the power enough, though. Let's go and let's do this one time. Um, if they, you know, like I said, sometimes you have to wait for that guard to come across and then you cut across that guard's back uh, where it looks like you might just be running outside. I'll go to the replay real quick. Um, to show that because a lot of times I, I I made this mistake earlier in the video where I think I can just sprint outside but sometimes you really have to just wait for this guy to come across and then just come off of his back it's really that simple sometimes you can just sprint it out sometimes you just have to wait for that guard to make that block and you really treat it like a trap play so here's a good opportunity for a counter strong which like I said this is something I don't even know if this is in any other playbook uh, but really I mean it's a man coverage so it's gonna force that alignment across uh, which is pretty good. And then, like I said, you just have that gap. Anytime you have a gap to the strong side, it's really the power O or the counter strong. So here's another one. I definitely would just say the, the power O because we have a blitzer coming off the weak side from the looks of it. So we can just get this this, this run going and we're just we're just off in space. I probably should have took that outside. I tried to use that, that pulling blocker at the last minute. But there's so many different ways you can run this. And then, then like I said, this is the halfback inside zone. That's your 5 to 10 yard run. I'm not really going to bother with that. I'm going to try to hit some big plays like this counter here. Um, here we have a good opportunity uh, for more explosive play. It doesn't really work out because I don't make the right read. So here's another scenario. We definitely have that guy coming off that uh, that strong side on a blitz. I'm going to hit him with the counter because I haven't really run this yet. Uh, this is a play where, I mean, obviously counter plays uh, are going to have success when you have an alignment shifted the way that this defense is. Uh, anytime you have that, really. I mean, I could try to run that again here. Although, once again, we have that gap. I, I would say it would make more sense to just hit him with this power run right towards that gap. Uh, which you can see, I mean, there's nothing but space. Anytime you have space to the strong side, the power is going to create more space. So it's really easy. Here we have an opportunity just for an easy inside run, heading with that halfback zone. Uh, a lot of times you can take that outside, though. As you can see right there, that safety comes down to fill his lane, and I can just break it outside because the receiver is really doing his job on the cornerback. So switching over to some gameplay now. Um, this is from yesterday's gameplay. So if you want to see the full uh, gameplay, I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, but this is pretty much the read right here. Just like I was saying in practice mode, if I have this gap, I'm going to try to hit this gap. Now, this closed up pretty good here. I don't know if my opponent ran commit or what. Maybe made a good user play. I try to go to a hurry up because I want to keep him in that look. And he immediately closes up that gap because it's third and short. So that's a good read. But then he leaves me basically wide open with these three tight ends for a huge block advantage to go the other way. So I just flip the play the other way. And now you can see how I have nothing but space on the other side. So it's a, it's a really tough position for a defensive player to be in. Because the alignment is going to spread out pretty much every defense. If you try to compact that defense, it's basically going to leave a lot of opportunity on one side or the other my opponent pretty much quit after this uh after that one touchdown uh going forward in another gameplay um this here i mean this is once again you know a lot of people come out in really small packages this may look like a huge advance three tight ends versus he's probably in like a dollar formation or something like that but this is something you'll see quite a bit you'll see a lot of people come out in really uh small packages like this and, and if you're good at man i mean you can stop the run with formations like this but he's still leaving me these huge gaps so in a lot of scenarios i'm just hitting him with a lot of um of the inside runs a lot of the the halfback inside uh zones uh that's pretty much you know like i said that's 
typically the first read, the first defense you're trying to find, or the first uh, run play, rather, you're trying to find, and then you're trying to hit the big play with the power O, with the counter, and stuff like that. So this next play here, I mean, he's, he's you know, I'm trying to keep him in this look because, obviously, I'm getting a huge uh, advantage at the point of attack. And then you can see I just hit a basically a really easy touchdown run. Later in the game, I'm up 10 uh, with about, you know, I'm in the third quarter here, and he's in a much larger defensive package because obviously I've been running this all game. You're going to have to at some point uh, come out in something larger to try to stop it. And if you watch the safeties on this particular series, they're running forward from the snap, which makes me believe that he's either run committing or uh, he's in an all-out man blitz, which also, I guess, can have that effect. But to me, it looks like, if, like I said, you watch the safeties, they're all committing. Even the cornerbacks are committing. So he's run committing on these plays, and I'm still gashing him. I'm still running right through it, which just shows you how, how overpowered this running formation is here. Here you see, once again, he flips the play. I'm going to go the other way. It looks like he's changing his defensive alignment, and it just doesn't matter. I'm just gashing him. So this is, without a doubt, one of the best uh, running formations. It's my personal favorite running formation right now. And it's just so unstoppable even with you have even when you have run committing run committing should shut down just about any run formation pretty consistently it had no effect here at all so i'm gonna end the video there if you guys want to see more Steelers or more stuff out of this formation do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man let's shut out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below